Hello, this is Gaz from 3dplearner.com and in this video I'm gonna highlight uh, some things about my latest tutorial on how to get neural nets uh, deployed to Maya using the C++ API. I have already covered how to do that in Python, although for performance reasons some people might want, uh, might want to use the C++ API instead. So that's why I'm doing this. Uh, <clears throat> So uh, the tutorial is very similar to the, the one on Python before. I used the same case, which is the, the getting the classification of the type of flower for this procedural flower using the Iris dataset. So it's the same model, same train model. We just deploy to a different uh, API. And the way we do that is by using the Onyx, uh, which is a file format for the exchange of trained models, trained neural networks, and other types of uh, machine learning models. Uh, the reason I chose Onyx as a medium to exchange these, these models was because uh, it's, it looks uh, like it has a promising future. It is supported by uh, very uh, <clears throat> popular libraries like the PyTorch library and also because TensorFlow uh, seems to be a bit complicated and a bit cumbersome to get working in C++ in Windows. I found the support a bit lacking and documentation also. So <clears throat> because of that I chose uh, the Onyx path and what we're doing is we're creating the model in Keras as we have done before then we convert it to Onyx and finally we load it in C++ uh, using the CNTK library which is uh, created by Microsoft and it's kind of uh, standard on Windows. So it's very easy to install in Vis Visual Studio. For example, right here you can right click uh, a Visual Stu Studio project and the references manage NuGet packages and you can type CNTK and you can install it just like that. So it's very easy to do. Uh, <clears throat> so as you can see right here, uh, we will have uh, two projects. One it's an empty node for you to test your build setup, uh, get everything working. I don't go over too much details of the build setup in the tutorial because of this great video series by Rafael Fregapen uh, from Cult of Rig. I hope I got the, his last name correctly. And uh, you really should watch all of this before you start uh, reading my tutorial if you don't have much experience in compiling C++ nodes for Maya. So I only go over the basic after that. I assume you have watch the video. Uh, then you can experiment if you're, everything is working for you with this uh, code. And then we go to the Iris model uh, where we actually implement stuff. So you can see right here it's a lot like the, the Python things we have done before, especially because the, the Python API in Maya is just a wrap of the C++ API, so there's really not much difference. So we create a model, I'm sorry, create a class, which is an uh, inheritance, uh, the MPX node class, and then we create all the parameters, uh, the attributes that will be available in our node. And in the compute function, uh, we do that actually in the initialize function, we create the attributes. You can see the syntax is very much like what we have in Python, except for the you know C++ specific stuff. And in the compute function, we actually do the inference and this, uh, how to do the inference, I got everything from the, the CN, CNTK GitHub page, which is kind of uh, easy to understand, no, no real magic here. Uh, the only thing we do add, which is a bit different, uh, and we, which is something we have done in the in the Python tutorial also is to create a 
special class where we cache the model and we have a getter load function so we don't need to reload the model at every evaluation so that's pretty much it that's what you will find in the tutorial in the end you should be uh, uh, this should be your result you should have a node that throws uh, cl classification of these plants in real time uh, i have a maya right open right here you have these two mll nodes that you have compiled you can load them the empty node will be just an empty node and the iris model node will be a node where you can load onyx files right here and it will output a probability and a winner so if we load the example which is right here you can see this iris model is driving the classifications that we see right here okay so uh, of course this example is very trivial but i hope you can see this will enable you to load any onyx model inside your maya scene which is very nice especially since you can convert uh, models from from and to tensorflow pytorch uh, apple's machine learning library uh, cafe and a lot map matlab and another uh another cool uh, library so very powerful uh, workflow that we can extend to do a lot of interesting things in the future okay thank you very much if you like this uh, please uh, share the video and also share the links to the tutorial with your friends and that's it cheers